So now we have the Wi-Fi uh, IP address. Now you put this address into your um, browser uh, IP address here, and you click Enter. So now it's a it's just a uploading page. You just drag or drop a STL file here. It will upload to your printer. Now let's do it. So let's browse. We have the file one one two three STL file. So open it. Now it's uploaded to your uh, uh to your browser now, and uh, after a few seconds it will turn to blue color. So here are two functions. One is upload to your printer. One is uh, upload and print. By the second button, it will start printing automatically. So after click this, it will upload and print. But now we will check the upload first. So let's do it. Uploading. So it should start uploading. It, it could it takes a few seconds to upload the file. Okay, you see the file was uploaded successfully. You you click done. All right, now let's go get back to the printer. Now let's check. We start. And it will jump out. Uh, yes, here. Uh, the Eiffel Tower is out here. Now it's started uh, slicing here. All right, 100%. Okay, after uploading, yeah, we can print now. After finishing the slicing, let's do it. Now, printing. Now the UV light is turning on. And the axis is moving. And here it's indicated the percent, percent uh, printed. So this is a uh, a tasting. So there's uh, still a few bugs, and also also the motor uh, has is very loud. Uh, we are going to change the driving chip to make it more quiet. Now this is first layer. Now our setting is uh, is not uh, so accurate, so it's move a little too much uh, up. But it's just for testing. So we will turn on the UV light very soon for the second layer. It's back to position. All right, second layer. Yeah. Oh, it's just uh, oh, two seconds. So then it move up and down for the third layer. Now it's uh, th three percent. We have sixty one layers. Okay, uh, that's it. Thank you.